<clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Uh, the Model S refresh. Yo, Elon just took off in the car. It's the fi it's the unveiling. Finally, he's just flying around. Did they build a track at the factory? Like right near the factory? It looks like they did. Just like a little race lane that goes up and down. Just one lane. Each. That was fast as hell. Okay, I'm trying to get the chat up for you guys. Here. It's my buddy Rob Mauer. Elon, let's go! I'm gonna have to make a new video. Elon being a boss for seven minutes. <laughs> you gotta sell more clothes, Elon. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for coming and thanks for tuning in. So, uh, as Franz was saying, this is uh, nine, nine years since we delivered the first Model S, the Come first on. car produced uh, here on. in Fremont. Don't let us so, down. almost a decade. And uh, I think we've, we're really taking it to a whole new level with, uh, the, with Plaid. Um, uh, some of you may know that, I mean, basically our, our product uh, plan is, is stolen from Spaceballs. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> we're the, we've gone plat speed. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, what we really wanted to achieve here is like, well, why, you know, why make this really fast car that's crazy fast and everything? And uh, I think there, there is something it's, it's, that's quite important um, to the future of sustainable energy, which is that uh, we, we've got to show that an electric car is the best car. Hands down, you know. So it's, it's got to be clear. It's like, man, this is uh, just sustainable energy cars. It can be the fastest cars, can be the safest cars, uh, can be the most kick-ass cars in every way. Um, and that, and that's that's why we did the plaid. It's just to show hands down. This is the way to go. So um, I love yes. his hair. It looks good. Hair looks good. Ooh, pressing slide. There you go. All right. <laughs> So uh, we've made huge improvements from the original car, uh, and uh, well, actually, who, uh, who here? Has anyone here? Probably some have bought the the Model S, like the yeah. Little, well, thank you for your support. Um, so uh, we've we, you can see the, the the huge improvements we've made. So and it started off with with good performance, but. Uh, now with the, the with plaid, we, I like we those managed rims. to break the uh, I like the, the two second barrier, if you will. The no, no production car has ever stopped uh, done zero to sixty in under two oh, seconds. Oh, oh, sorry. So, I'm thinking about stopping. I know stopping. So, and, and this is this is a, a four door car, seats five adults, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's, it's like you know. Thing moving. I mean, this is like what I, what I call like uh, limit of physics engineering. It's not relative. It's like, uh, what does physics say we could do? Because physics is the law, and everything else is a recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in addition to uh, it's a crazy performance, uh, it's also got a long range. Uh, even with the uh, tri motor uh, high performance, it's got almost a 400 mile range. And in the dual motor configuration, it's got a 412 mile range. So. Nice. <laughs> nice. 420, give or take. <laughs> so, um, that joke will never end. <laughs> so, and, and we've also improved the super, supercharging speed, so you can uh, get 187 miles of range in 15 minutes. So. Fast charging. Yeah, so the quickest production car, to be clear, of, of any kind ever made, like I said, first to ever break the two second barrier. Uh, later tonight, you'll get a chance, a chance to uh, drive around the track. And um, like, this is really something you have to feel to believe. Because it hits you, hits you a light in the, right in the limbic system. It's like, damn, like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is it's basically, what is the car that we can, how can we make a spaceship a car, you know? Uh, the roadster. So. The roadster. <laughs> <laughs> the roadster. The. See, yep. <laughs> and, and then, in terms of additional stats, uh, it's also the the fastest production car to complete a quarter mile, so 9.23 seconds. Uh, it's got a 200 mile an hour top speed, uh, 
a thousand in 15 over minutes you can charge 187 miles that's mile nuts. range like i said uh charges uh, so fast uh, you, you know it'll be probably done by the time you have a coffee basically um and talking about some of the sort of the details behind it uh, so uh, i'm guessing have an, an, an tesla crashes three percent tomorrow um maybe even five. and then something we're really proud of is the new unless they blow this away with something rotors, else this was motor. all expected so this is the first time that uh, there's, a, to the best of our knowledge, there's been a, we knew about all this. a production electric motor that had that has a carbon overwrap rotor. So, um, this is a super hard thing to do because a carbon and a copper have, uh, you know, at very different rates of thermal expansion. So. In order to do a carbon overwrap rotor, you've got to wind it at extremely high tension. Mm -hmm. It's a very hard thing to, to do. We actually have to design the machine that makes the, motor, the rotor. So that no such machine ex existed before. It also means we can make, have the electromagnetic field uh, be super efficient uh, and have a tight gap even at super high RPM. And this is, it's single speed from zero to 200 miles an hour. So it's just, like, it, the, the RPM is so crazy that just the centrifugal force wants to expand the rotor, so the carbon overwrap actually holds the the rotor to, basically holds the rotor together. <laughs> it's like it's madness. So um, sounds cool. Yeah. So. But ninety nine percent of people won't understand it. In fact, uh, we're going to show you the motor. In fact, you might have had a chance to see the drive unit, and we can. Go closer. <laughs> I mean, this is really what am I an amazing at? work of engineering. Um, yeah, there's, there's just never been a an electric motor like this. I mean, you could pick this motor up with your hands, and and it can accelerate a two-ton car to 60 miles an hour in two seconds. I mean, that kind of power to weight is insane. Forty GM, everyone's taking pictures. Yeah. A million pictures, trying to gonna try to Google and Amazon. So they're all trying goes, to mimic uh, Apple. We've, we've, it goes up to tw uh, twenty thousand RPM and maybe a little more. So. Twenty thousand yeah, RPM. Look at it. <laughs> Jesus. So. That's let's see, okay, let's switch back to the slides, I think. <laughs> Can we switch back to the slides? Nothing, no switch back. So, uh, in it, we also were able to achieve the uh, lowest drag coefficient of any car ever made. So, yeah. So it's the most aerodynamic, I suppose, what that means. So, uh, really, I think t Tesla engineering has outdone itself here. Uh, this is a car that looks good, but also gets an, uh, an incredible drag coefficient. And this is uh, take, this is the, the true drag coefficient of the car, including um, w with wheels in motion. Sometimes you'll hear drag coefficients quoted, but that'll be without the wheels moving. And the wheels cause sort of air churn and incremental drag. And uh, this is the actual drag coefficient of the car. So it's uh, to have a good looking sports car, uh, have that lower drag coefficient is, is really tough. So, we also have the latest uh, and greatest uh, in heat pump, which is the basically the HVAC system for the car. I'm telling you uh, It's 30% better cold weather range uh, and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating and freezing conditions. Um, yeah, so that's, you'll see very little degradation in cold weather. Um, and the radiator is uh, twice as big for heat rejection. So you'll be able to actually do back-to-back -back zero to 60s, um, go on the track, just whole ass, and uh, as you'll see tonight, this car is just going to be over and over again, and it doesn't get winded. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's I think we're going to take this uh, back to maybe the Nurburgring. Let's uh, see what happens. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, uh, the, it, you know, when, when we uh, first delivered the Model S, there were no superchargers anywhere in the world. So back in 2012, no superchargers anywhere. How many now? Uh, now the superchargers all around the world. How many though? How many? Hundred thousand? Twenty-five k? We opened uh, thirty just in the last week. Twenty-five. Okay. And uh, we're... no. 
we're just going to keep going so that you can basically travel anywhere you want uh, with peace of mind, super easy, keep increasing the, the power of the superchargers. Uh, you know, we're 250 kilowatts, so obviously that will we'll start going to you know, 280, 300, 350. Yeah. Yes, good, improve, <laughs> improve. Let's go. And it's, it's also I just, engineered for I love seeing uh, progression. maximum safety. I love uh, in seeing fact, progression. this is designed to be, the, it, our aspiration for this car, um, it still has to be tested by the US government, but uh, we think we can uh, get the, the lowest probability of injury of any car ever tested. Nice, so, very safe car. Good, good, good. Um, in fact, the, these are the actual NHTSA probability of injuries numbers. All top five cars, the, with the, the lowest probability of injuries ever tested, all five are Teslas. Yes. So, yes. Very nice. So, so are, with the Plaid Model S, what you have is a car that is uh, faster than, than, quicker than any sports car. Uh, and it's like faster than any any Porsche, safer than any Volvo, in the same car. That's insane. It's like, it's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. So, and then the design, we've obviously made a lot of refinements to the exterior, and and then we've made we've completely redone the interior. That looks so cool. We, I think when, once you drive See, the, the new that Model looks S, cool. it really feels like you're driving the future. Um, and uh, other cars are going to, especially like non-Tesla cars, are going to feel very last century. <laughs> so, all new interior. Um, as you can see, we changed the orientation of the main screen, so it's easier to watch movies and that kind of thing um, in landscape. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> In other notes, we have ventilated front seats. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, it's. I think it's a. It's really. It, you drive around and it really feels like okay. We're in 2021. Great. <laughs> um, we we have the, this yoke steering wheel, which is a little different, but I think once you try it, you'll think this is, it's it's great. Um, the you, you, your the visibility. Uh, of the, put the, the main screen the is, is super clear, especially for uh, autopilot. So you can see the entire panoramic view of, you can basically Pe see the mind's eye of the car. People are not going to buy it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's, I so, like it, but some people will not buy it. And then we, we've gotten rid of the stalks. So, like, you know, I think generally um, all input is error. So we, we want. If, if you have to do something I that the car that. could have done already, I love that. Uh, that should be taken care of. All input The software is should error. just do it. So you can actually just literally walk up to the car, it senses that you're approaching, unlocks the car based on your phone, it just basically pairs with your phone, knows that you're coming to the car, opens the door, it open, open, extends the handle, you sit down, and you just drive. You don't, you don't have to uh, press the drive or anything like that. The car knows you want to drive. It figures like, yeah, good guess. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, and oh and then and then it's using the autopilot system to know where the obstacles are. So obviously, if there's something in front of you, you want to go backwards, and if there's something in uh, you know in back of you, you want to most likely. Um, <laughs> and then it'll 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 it will adapt to your uh, to to your needs. So if it sees that you're always doing this, you know you're changing to reverse or forward in particular situations, it'll try to remember that. Um, and ge geocode it to that location, so then you it, it'll, you won't have to do it in the future. It'll, it will just keep. Uh, oh, I hope they have something like a one last thing, man. Do until the car just reads your mind. So it's gonna be great. Um, yeah. This is great, but it's all been expected. So uh, we've re redesigned the the interior. We've moved the interior so that the the um, the the front IP is actually uh, slimmer and thinner. So we we're able to move the uh, the, the front seat's forward, giving more room to the back seat, and we uh, reclined the back seat more and uh, reduced the interior trim. So uh, b basically, the the, you know, the current more or less is amazing, but the new one, uh, it's actually a legit back seat. No, it's, <laughs> it's like you, you, it's good. <laughs> um, so you, you can, it's I think it's quite a comfortable uh, back seat, and you've got also a rear screen, um, and you can control everything from the from the back. 
Um, yeah. So it's, it's got uh, uh, inductive, uh, dual inductive charges uh, for your phones cool. in the back and dual inductive in the, in the front. That's cool. Um, little charging. It's, it's a 36 watt power supply, so you can actually charge like your you know, laptop or anything. Basically, it's got it's a 36 watt uh, USB C. Yeah. Um, it can also uh, pair with multiple Bluetooth devices simultaneously. So uh, multiple people could be controlling music or somebody could be playing a video game. Uh, so it's, uh, you can do multiple wireless things simultaneously. Nice, that's good for families. People want to play games in the back and listen to music in the front. And then uh, similar to the, the Model 3 and, and Y, um, we, in, instead of having air vents, uh, we use intersecting uh, columns of air so and we just vary the uh, the speed of the air so you don't have to there's, there's no vents um that right. you can see uh and you can just touch the screen and move the screen around and it'll it'll just move the air wherever you want it and the and the air is much <laughs> more diffuse that's cool. um it just feels like an invisible air conditioning system it's great so and it's a, it's a, a tri zone so there's a zone that's, for that's the interesting rear but i, I still want a, vent. A, a like front, put it right on my left, face left front know? right front uh, zone so and then the 17-inch touchscreen is, it feels like a, a movie theater. The, the sound is incredible. Um, <laughs> Jesus. And um, yeah, so uh, you can really, it, 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 it's, it's like a home theater experience. So if you're, if you're sitting somewhere waiting or for whatever reason, or at a supercharger, uh, you can just catch up on what your, your favorite Netflix show or iTunes or whatever the case may be, YouTube. Um, and of course, uh, you can also play video games. Cells without so, and, and the same thing for the rear. So you can, uh, rear, it, it, it basically the, the system feeds all three screens, um, and so you can do things three front screens. rear. Three screens. Right? Um, Hold on. What do you mean three? Uh, we, we have an all new uh, sound system designed by Tesla Audio, um, with uh, and we have acoustic glass throughout the car, so the car is very quiet when going down the highway, even at very high speeds. He had that hammer. Like That's what it is. The hammer. Quiet. They do have something. I forgot. <laughs> They have to have something, uh, something else. And th this is a Tesla designed uh, codec, so uh, it will keep uploading improved versions uh, of the sound system. It's, it's, it's completely software defined. So we'll keep tweaking it and dynamically adjusting to whether uh, you're using uh, so streaming or whether it's coming via Bluetooth from your phone or uh, different streaming services. Uh, it'll actually, and if, if the data rate changes, it'll adapt that. So basically, it always sounds good, um, and it's just going to get better. So good, good, yeah. good improvements, baby. No forty-six eighty cells. Stop it. Stop saying it. Uh, so <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so yeah, it's a. I wonder if it's a. What? What? Someone said something. I really want wick points. Okay. Jeez, the audience needs to chill, man. Okay, does everybody hear what waypoints? Yeah. What? What do you say? Is that waypoints? Right, fine, we'll do waypoints. Wait, waypoints? <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> waypoints? All right. Um. <laughs> two weeks. Oh, wait. We'll do, do, do waypoints, fine. Um, Elon just told him we'll do so, waypoints. Uh, but obviously, it also interfaces with your calendar. Um, so if you just. Uh, Basically, if you, just, if you just get in the car and you just sort of swipe down from navigate, you don't have to enter anything, just swipe down. Uh, the car will automatically figure out if you want to go to home, work, or what's on your calendar. So it'll, it'll default to calendar priority. And obviously, if you're, if you're at home and, it, and it's kind of a weekday or whatever, it assumes you're going to go to work. So you just swipe down, automatically navigates to work, and checks traffic and gives you an optimal route. So it's just like a nice little easy thing. And you can actually set it to automatically generate the most probable route. So you just get in. Yeah. And it's going to guess good. what route you want, you and good. you don't have to press anything. That's good. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, anyway, the UI is uh, like basically easy to move around, uh, expand, contract, uh, shift music to the left, uh, to the right, um, and we're going to keep improving it. So uh, it basically feels like a like a modern tablet or. Come on, phone. we need the um, one last thing, so. one awesome thing, blow our minds. And then uh, <laughs> it's not PS. PS5. Oh, PS4. Level. PS5. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So um, there's, I think never, there really has never been a car that has state of the art uh, computing technology, state of the art infotainment. So is where, it a computer? Uh, this like, is how would you download uh, at PS5 the level game? Of, a, of a PlayStation? Like how, would you, how could you get this? So, yeah, I mean, if you think about the future where the car is often uh, in autopilot or full self driving mode. Yeah. Um, then entertainment is going to become increasingly important. Entertainment um, is the so future. So you're going to want to watch movies. I say it all the time. Play games. Um, you know, use use the internet. Uh, just little thing, you know, things you want to do if you're not driving. And this is a uh, actual PlayStation Five level performance. So we're going to try to do a gaming demo. What do we have there? What is it? What is that? Motorcycle? What is it? Yes. Cyberpunk? What is it? It can play Cyberpunk. Oh, it is Cyberpunk. Nice. So this is somebody playing the car right now. This is, so, <laughs> play, playing live. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, um, man. So it's, you know, like pretty great. You know? so it's so like a PC. Have fun in the game. In the, like, it's going to be great. Oh my so. god, that's cool. All right. So high frame rate will do 60 frames a second um, with state-of-the-art games. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, we got uh, uh, incredible performance, interior in the future. I think uh, engineering, that's practically alien. Um, so uh, like I said, the, you know, simultaneously the safest car in the world and the fastest. Okay. It's, this is insane. So we also got like the frame rate uh, got a little the worse. Power code. So the, I think this really illustrates the difference. It maintains uh, a thousand horsepower all the way up to uh, uh, 200 miles an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> this car crushes. Well, that's significant. All right. All right. Is that it? Is that it, Elon? <laughs> yes. All right, and deliveries begin now. Now. Uh, yeah. So we're we're in production. Uh, we're gonna deliver the first uh, twenty five cars now, and uh, uh, and then basically we should be at uh, you know several hundred cars per week soon, and a thousand cars a week probably next quarter. So uh, please enjoy. Uh, we put a lot of work into this. Uh, I'd like to to thank the incredible work of the Tesla engineering and production teams. Uh, as a, you know, <laughs> so I, my hat is off to Tesla Engineering Production Design, the whole, the whole, the whole group. Uh, they really they put their uh, heart and soul into this, so I uh, hope, hope you enjoy it. So let's uh, deliver some cars. All right. Let's deliver some cars. Yeah, please. Deliver some. So wait, what's up with the hammer? What the fuck? The guy had the hammer there for no reason. Ah. Oh. Oh man, yep, so I'm guessing it's rough. I'm back on the audio here and uh... Alright, see you guys.